Okay, I thought I would show everyone my indoor biking setup for getting in rides when it's bad weather or you're on a time crunch. Uh, I started out years ago in my garage with a wheel on trainer. This is a direct drive trainer where you take the back wheel off. It is a Wahoo Kicker Core. They don't really discount their products much, so I recommend supporting your local bike shop and getting one there. I got mine at Wooly G's in Longview, Texas. It's a great tool. It's got a built-in power meter, so you're gonna be able to use power as a tool for training. As I mentioned, it is direct drive, so you take your back wheel off and connect to it. This one did not come with a cassette. I had to buy that cassette and put it on. Not a big expense. The great things about this are you're gonna be able to do a lot of workouts. It has an ERG mode where it will automatically adjust the power of your workout, the hardness or the toughness of your workout. And so you can leave your chain right there in the middle and you never have to shift gears. You never have to worry about thinking about shifting gears. Uh, it will automatically adjust the power for you when it's in that mode. So one of the benefits of that is chain wear, since you can leave it right in the middle, uh, save you some chain wear there. It has another benefit of not having the wheel on. You're not gonna get the standard flat tire that you would get right in a, on a wheel on trainer. And if you have one of the cheaper wheel on trainers, usually when you put down a lot of power, you'll get what I call wheel slip, where your wheel kind of slips at the beginning when you start that power and that's not an issue here. In fact, this has a more road-like feel and it's been a, a great thing. So check it out when you buy it, just FYI. It comes with a couple of different size, little brackets right here um, to fit, I guess, different bikes. So what else I have here? I've got this table. It looks like a Wahoo table, but it's actually an off-brand called RAD. I picked it up on Amazon for about a third of the cost. Open box item. And uh, it did have a few bad reviews about being able to push these buttons on the side and go up and down, but I'm not moving mine up and down, so that wasn't a, a concern for me. It's a great table. Looks exactly like the Wahoo one as far as I can tell. It's got cup holders too. Has these slots in the front and the back where you can mount, uh, stand your phone up or an iPad or put cords through like I have here. So it's pretty cool. And then I've got my floor fan down here. Again, I picked this up on Amazon, I believe, for way cheaper than the Wahoo ones. It's a Lasco brand. And I believe it's used for like drying out floors that have been flooded, but it puts out plenty of air to keep me cool while I'm riding. So I've got my trainer connected to Zwift, and that has been a, a really cool little program that you can use as a lot of workouts. I think it's it's a monthly subscription. I don't know, 12, 15 bucks a month or something. I usually just get it as my yearly birthday present or Christmas or anniversary, whatever you need to do. So uh, right here, you can see at the top, it's got three locations. It always has three locations you can go and visit. Within those locations, it has different routes that you can pick from, so lots of options. And this is the really cool thing that I like about it. Ride type, you can go in here into training, and it's got all these different workouts that you can do. So every one of these black boxes actually opens up to a ton of workouts uh, that you can choose from. Some hard, some easy, some to build FTP, uh, they have FTP tests right here, so you can go and actually do a test, like a ramp test here that I have done before. And we'll put the date, the last date that you did the workout on there. I like the ramp test a lot better than the other FTP tests. To me, it's a lot less grueling, and it still gets you close in your number. For this one, you start out low, and it increases 20 watts every minute and you see how high you can go and they have a, a calculator that'll guess your FTP on that. They also have these really cool ones if you have less than 60 minutes, 60 to 90 minutes to ride, you just click on that again. It's got a drop down of all these different workouts you can choose from. When you click on a workout, it'll give you a description of that workout. It'll tell you like how stressful it is, uh, right here, stress points, and all that good stuff. So, super cool tool. There's a lot of stuff with Zwift I haven't even learned yet. Uh, I know you can get on here and find your friends, uh, you can do races, uh, I barely scratched the surface with this, but 
I've seen some people hook it up to a TV. I've got one in here. I just haven't bothered with figuring out how to cast it to a TV yet. You can also use it on your phone or an iPad, I believe. Uh, I've got my uh, just a cheap laptop, an old laptop here that I bought. If you're going to use an old one like this, make sure your operating system is updated enough to be able to run Zwift. Mine's like the minimum requirement, so I got lucky on that. It's like a hundred dollar iMac there. Anyways, that's my pain cave, workout room, fortress of solitude, whatever you want to call it. <laughs>